of Democracy. Registering to vote here in Travis County just got a whole lot easier, taking a couple of minutes. Yep, and today close to a dozen Amy's Ice Cream Shops are going to be churning out new voters as well as ice cream today. And that is where we find KXAN's Chris Davis this morning. Tough assignment, Chris. Yeah, good morning, John and Sally. This is honestly the best assignment ever. Tessa here is going to be making some ice cream for us here this morning. Today's voter drive at Amy's all over Austin is one of several outreach events the county does to register as many people as they can. Making all this ice cream does look pretty complicated, can get pretty complicated, but getting your name on the voter rolls, that's easy as pie. These future voter stickers will give out to the little kids. As a deputy voter registrar, Silka Maureen is volunteering to register voters at her neighborhood Amy's. If people have to get in their car and go somewhere, they're going to be less likely. This is just like with voting. They're going to be less likely to do it. Maureen is fighting apathy. Fighting, she says, the temptation people have to think elections will just go the way they want. And that's not true. People don't actually show up. Travis County is trying to make it easier to show up by taking voter registration out of the tax office. We register as many places as we can find. Today from noon to 8, that includes all 11 Amy's locations except the airport. With ice cream as bait, the county hopes to register hundreds of new voters. While our registration rate is very high, it's a very dynamic situation because we know that over 100 people are moving into Austin every day. We know people are turning 18 every day. Come for the ice cream. Stay for the democracy. Ideally, politics is a forum for common ground. Unfortunately, it doesn't always turn out that way, but ice cream unites us. It, it's, it, it's common ground. And to show you just how easy it is to register to vote, I'm going to be filling out one of these voter application forms and uh, challenging Tessa here to a contest to see <laughs> if she can finish making my ice cream before I finish filling out this form. So are you ready for this? Okay. All right, we're going to do uh, a combination of coffee and sweet cream ice cream, and I'm going to get M&Ms and Kit Kats. Ready? <laughs> Set. Go. Chris. Chris, I appreciate the effort to go with the coffee, too, because it's the breakfast hour right now. Um, hey, Chris, while you're doing that, I hope I don't distract you too much, but what do people need to bring <laughs> with them if they're going to register? Well, it's, it's really simple. All you really need is um, a, uh, a driver's license, um, a state-issued ID, or the okay. last four of your Social Security number. Okay. And that is it. I'm done. Yay. I'm registered to vote. And we can see you can literally do this while you're waiting for your ice cream. You come in, put in your order, you Jeez, can fill so out a voter application form. And, Chris, and, and it's that simple. I have Easy to admit, enough, right? I thought you were getting smoked there, but turns out you won. And by the way, I, I used the uh, stopwatch on my, uh, on my phone. 31 seconds is what it took you to fill that out. 31 seconds. 31 Easy. Yeah. Hey, uh, Chris, There's no reason not to do it. No, that's the whole point. Chris, thank you. <laughs> All right, so what's old?